The night hangs low in the sky, fog creeping just over the rooftops. The lights and music that spill from the windows and doors of the bars lining the street are seemingly swallowed by the tense stillness filling the air. In the shadows, he stands, his sharp and calculating eyes watching a particular window keenly. His voice is like razors as he chuckles to himself. <laughs> there you are, precious. Oh, isn't that sweet? Having a nice time dancing innocently with your friends, are we? And look at that. You got yourself all dolled up for your little girl's night, didn't you? You are so pretty and so unaware. He watches as you turn to your friends, shouting over the music. That's it. Say goodbye to your little friends. You have an early morning ahead of you. <laughs> or so you think. He melts into the alleyway as you exit the bar, heading towards the pickup for your ride home. The smile fades from your face as you leave, betraying the sadness you are hiding beneath. It almost makes him hesitate. Almost. In less than a second, he lunges, grabbing you in one fell swoop. Your back hits the alley wall hard his hand over your mouth and his body pinning yours in place. His deep red eyes stare straight into yours and your eyes widen in recognition. Ah, ah, ah. No screaming, precious. We wouldn't want your little friends to hear now, would we? <laughs> or maybe you wouldn't. I don't think I'd mind draining all of you dry. <laughs> oh, is this pathetic attempt at struggling the best you've got? Come on, at least give me a little bit of fight. I admit I like to play with my food before I kill it. You begin to panic struggling against him and yelling into his palm. He laughs, a wicked smile forming across his face, revealing fangs where his insides should be. <laughs> there we go, that's more like it. The reality of your situation is starting to set in, isn't it? blood it smells divine did you know that it's the highest compliment i can give at least to a human that is i am going to savor drinking every drop of you do i detect fear in those big wide eyes of yours it's okay to be scared precious don't you worry, I'll make it quick. I'm much more kind than my maker. She would have had you to suffer first. He takes the hand that's not holding your mouth and trails it along your jawline down to your neck. Luckily for you, she sent me to do it instead. And I'm afraid that is the only miracle you'll be receiving this evening. <clears throat> mm. shh, 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 precious. It's all right. Like I said, I'll make it quick. You'll barely feel a thing. It'll be like falling asleep. God. You have such beautiful skin. I can't wait to sink my teeth into you. <laughs> Let's get this over with, shall we? 
As he goes for your neck, you bite down hard on his hand, twisting away from him as he recoils. Ah! Fuck! Fuck, why you little? You shout his name, voice full of desperation. He stops, confusion washing over his face. What, what did you call me? How? How do you know my name? What? What do you mean you know me? Who are you? Jenny's? A flash of memories fills his mind at the sound of your name. Him holding you under the stars as you point excitedly up. You laughing happily as he dances with you in the kitchen. The twist of your body underneath him in bed. He pulls away with a growl and shakes his head, trying to regain himself. <sighs> if this is your attempt at getting out of the fate I have in store for you, precious, then I have disappointing news for you, because my maker has ordered me to kill you. And that is an order I simply can't refuse. You take a deep, shaky breath, then walk towards him, taking his face in your hand and caressing it gently. There's only one thing you can think of that might jog his memory. What are you? <sighs> Janice, my Janice, my precious girl, I remember now, it, it really is you. He takes you in his arms, red eyes studying yours. After a moment, he leans in, kissing you passionately. A grin overtakes your face when you break apart. You thought he was dead, lost to you forever. Seeing him now, even in this way, was more of a dream than you'd ever let yourself imagine. But his brow was still furrowed as he searches your eyes. I, I, I don't understand. I can't remember what happened. It's, it's blurry. Before my turning. Missing. I, I went missing. A year ago. What? I, I don't. You thought I was dead. He shakes his head, stepping away from you. His hands run through his hair, pulling at it. Memories flood his mind. No, 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 this, this, this can't be happening. You step closer, going to comfort him, but he recoils immediately. Don't, don't you... You can't. I, I can't. I, I can't stop it from happening. I can't, I can't stop myself. Because she ordered me to. My maker, Alina, she, she ordered me to kill you. She compelled me. No, 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 you don't understand. I can't disobey my maker. The sire bond forces me to follow her command. Fuck. She knew who you were. She must have. Of course she did. Why else would she set a target like this? <laughs> oh, she knew. She knew I loved you. She took that love. 
and decided to make it into a blood sport for her own pleasure. What? I'm trying, Janice. I'm trying to resist it, but you don't understand how strong the sire bond is. Fear courses through you. You begin to back away as you watch him struggle. The beast within clawing its way forward. I can't. It's too much. You turn, about to make a break for it. No, no, don't run. Don't run. It'll only make it worse. He catches you before you can move, one arm keeping you in place. You tremble in his arms and he looks at you regretfully. Visibly struggling to control himself, his eyes are so dark now they're almost black. A gentle hand comes up to caress your cheek and his voice is soft when he speaks. I'll make it quick, I promise. I'm so sorry. Before you can scream, the world goes black. Faintly, you can hear his words fading away into the night. What have I done? What have I done? Shadows dance on the walls of the room as your eyes flutter open. A fire crackles in the fireplace across from the foot of the bed. You push yourself up to sitting, startled by how fast you move. Don't move too quickly. You could hurt yourself. Your head whips to a chair in the corner by the bed. He sits, face twisted in pain, not meeting your eyes. It's going to take some time for you to get used to this body. You're much stronger now, much faster. You look down at your body and then back up to him, confused. I, I had to follow the compulsion to kill you. It wasn't a choice I could make. It was forced, but. I didn't have to leave you dead. I panicked. I was trying to save you and I just... I turned you. Janice, I turned you. He slowly takes a mirror from the bedside table, handing it to you. Here. Look at your eyes. You hold the mirror up to your face. Deep, dark, red eyes stare back at you. You, you're a vampire now, Janice. The gravity of his words settles over you. He stares at the floor, refusing to meet your gaze. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Janice. I couldn't stop the compulsion. I I tried. I, I did, but I failed failed you, and now I've done this to you. Where are we? This is a hideout of mine. Somewhere I could keep you safe. Safe away from Alina. Alina is my maker. She's older blood. A few hundred years old. I I started to remember things while you were asleep. Alina worked at that bar you and I used to go to. Bar none. Bars are a good place to hunt. I think I popped in for a drink one night when you had to work late. She was pouring my drink and, well, it gets blurry after that. He swallows hard, still refusing to meet your eyes. You know, I would have never done this to you if I had a choice, Janice. 
And I'm not a fool. I know that's not enough to excuse it, but I, I just, I'm sorry. I wouldn't blame you if you hated me for the rest of eternity. You move slowly. As you take his hand, he glances up, eyes full of tears. You, you don't hate me. I, I don't understand. I killed you. I turned you. How could you not? Saved you. I don't know that I would call damning you to eternal life as a vampire saving you. It might have been more merciful to just let you die. But I'm selfish and I couldn't do it. No. No! How can you forgive me so easily? Because I've taken your life away. You were fine. You would have moved on. When you pull apart from the kiss, you take his face in yours, pressing your foreheads together. His breathing is shallow and shaky. I'm your life? Do you really mean that, Janice? Do you really feel that this is worth it? As long as we can be together. I love you. I've missed you. I've missed touching you, having you in my arms. Even what I couldn't remember. I knew something was missing. And now that you're here, it's, it's taking every bit of my strength to hold myself back from you. Don't. Are you sure? You're not used to this body yet. It's, it's a lot. It's different than what you're used to. Huh. Teach you. Are you sure? You promise? Okay. Slowly, he rises from the chair, kissing you as he pushes you back on the bed. It's been so long since he's touched you this way. You can't help in pleasure. <laughs> I've barely touched you, my precious girl. I feel like I remember you liking when I did this. Kiss your neck right there. Just below your jawline. Mm. 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 Is that still a hot spot for you, pressure? What about here when you're alone? Mm. That's it, baby. My name, Jenny. It's been far too long since I've heard you say it. Mm, maybe if I guess a little lower. Would you like that, baby? Mm. Let's get rid of these clothes. 